The question 16, the first of the writing part is to use properties of tangents. This is from the module 5.5. Here we have been given a figure and they have told to find the value of x. We need to assume the segments that appear to be tangent are tangents and round the answer to the nearest hundred if needed. Now, which over here looks like a tangent? Tangent is something that touches the circle at outside of the circle only at one point. So now if we have something like this, a circle, this line which cuts two points is a secant. Even this is a secant, secant. As we go close enough, there will be one line which only touches one point. It passes such that it will only touch one point. And that is a tangent. And when you draw a straight line, say like this, from the tangent to the center of the circle, it always forms a 90 degree over here. So now here we can easily observe that this cannot be a tangent. This is the radius over here. But this one is a tangent because this is cutting inside the circle, whereas this is touching only outside the circle. So this is a tangent at the point G. And this will be the 90 degree angle. Now then, if this is the case, what can we use here? We can use the Pythagoras theorem. For Pythagoras theorem, we can write HK, that is the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse. And this are the other two sides, you know, the adjacent, I mean, adjacent of the 90 degree. So here we write HK, the whole squared will be equal to jh and jk jh the whole squared plus jk the whole squared this is pythagoras the, uh, theorem now what pythagoras theorem says is the square of the hypotenuse is the sum of squares of the other two sides and now we will substitute what is j h and k it is x squared equals what is jh it is 15 squared plus jk is 20 squared technically if you write the formula this is the first one the substitution and then the answer directly you should get full marks why because you have written the formula you have written the substitution and you can use your calculators and get the answer but over here what i'm just gonna do is i'm just gonna do one more step i'll just take the square off and i'll just take the square root and write 15 squared plus 20 squared. And then if you write x is equal to whatever the answer, that'll, that should give you the full marks. Even if you have written this, this, and the final answer should get full marks. If I was correcting, I would definitely give it a full marks because you can get the answer from here. You can do the step in mind. But to be on safe side, write the four steps because this is the writing part and then get the answer from the calculator. Let's take our calculators and solve it up. Here, I'll do both these steps. First one, you can take it as x squared equals 15 squared plus 20 squared. And you need to press shift and solve to solve for x and equal to, it'll take a few moments. In your physical calculator, it'll take much more time than what I can get it over here. It's a computer simulation here. So the answer is 25. That's the answer. You need to press equal to and check. Yes, that's 25. Another way is just solving this out. Now here we are not using x because x is already at one side. You just solve this part. It's square root of 15 squared plus 20 squared. That's it. The answer is 25. X is 25 units. And that's it. We found the x value. Now, this is a very basic problem. Let's look into a little bit harder problem. So that's the answer here. Now, this one here is a little bit tricky because you can see the x value. It's not the entire RT. It is just from U to T. You can see it's only the outside of the circle, this part of that line from U to T. What about R to U? What is this value? This much will be the radius, isn't it? From year to year, SR or RS is the radius, same as RU. So if RS is 15, even RU is going to be 15. And now we can solve it up. And here, we can write RT squared. 
Why? Because this is the tangent, isn't it? ST, this is 90 degrees. Opposite to, is, uh, opposite to S is RT, that is the hypotenuse. That will be square of that is equal to SR squared plus ST squared. And then what do we have to do is substitute. What is RT? RT here is 15 plus X. This is it. Next, what can we do? We can just substitute it here. 15 plus X, the whole squared is equal to, what do we have is um, 15 squared plus 36 squared. Here we can use the whole power 2, A plus B, the whole power 2 expand it and then solve it. But the easier way would be just take the square root on the other side. It will be 15 plus X is equal to the square root of 15 squared plus 36 squared. And we can simplify this easily in the calculator and subtract by 15. This 15 goes to the other side. That will be answer. I'll just write that step as well. X is equal to square root 15 squared plus 36 squared. And this 15 to the other side will be minus 15. And this is X. Or you can just put this entire thing in the calculator. You're supposed to get full marks. This step, this step, and this step. But if, if your teacher expects you to do one more step at least, just do this step. You know the square is there. Just take the square root on the other side and then solve it up. We will do it in the calculator now. Over here I'll show you solving from this second step itself. 15 plus x, close the bracket, the squared will be equal to 15 squared plus 36 squared shift and solve. This is not the answer. This is the previous store answer. You need to press equal to and then press again equal to. The answer is 24. Or else what we can do is we can just do this square root 15 squared. That's sorry, 15 squared plus 36 squared. Press next. Don't put the minus 15 over here. This is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. You need to put the minus outside of square root. The square root is only for 15 squared plus 36 squared. Here is minus 15. The answer will be 24. Both the answer matches over here or, uh, you know, from this step. So X is 24 units and that is the correct answer. Here you can see. 24. Now, if you're going to use power 2, if you're going to expand, I would suggest you not to do that. It's just going to be, you know, you're using a plus b, the whole squared formula for this expansion, and you get a quadratic form, and then you can use calculate and find two answers. Ultimately, you'll get one negative and one positive. Negative cannot be the answer. But if you do the method which I just showed you, you will just get one true answer. You don't need to involve quadratics over here because this method is also absolutely right. Now, what about this problem? Now, if you have understood the concept of this, you better try all these problems by yourselves. I will be solving all the remaining problems, but you can just go ahead and solve them by yourself. You can pause the video now, solve it, and then check for the answers only. Here, this ZB looks like the tangent. So we consider that to be the tangent. It doesn't look like it is the tangent because they have clearly told, assume the segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. And now then hypotenuse is yb. So yb, the whole power 2, will be equal to this sum of other two sides, zy squared plus zb squared. Now what is yb? Now this is 8. What is the radius ya? It's 21, given over here 21. So now what is yb exactly? It's 21 plus 9. The total over here would be 29. So it's 29 squared. That is equal to the sum of the other two sides. 21 squared plus x squared. Now, hypotenuse is completely known. This is known. x squared, that is a side, is unknown. So what you can do over here is take this 21 to the other side. It'll be 21, 29 squared minus 21 squared equals x squared. Now take the square root 29 squared minus 21 squared is equal to x. Solve this, you'll get the answer. Or even if you put this directly in the calculator, you can get the answer. You can do this and also check the above one. I've typed this, square root 29 squared minus 21 squared. The answer is 20. As you can see, x is 20, 20 units. We will try this one now. 
the same thing i'm directly gonna write this as hypotenuse p r squared will be equal to p q squared plus q r squared it's crucial to write this formula then substitute it so here x is the radius and this part is x the total over here is x plus 4 so pr is x plus 4 the whole squared that is equal to now this is going to be a little tricky it's going to be x squared plus 17 squared now what is the issue we cannot avoid we cannot take square root over here if we're gonna if we take the square root then it's gonna be x square root of x squared it's just gonna be complicated right in this case if you're solving you know uh, by steps you have to use the a plus b the whole square rule so what is a plus b the whole square i'm just gonna write it over here the rule is a plus b the whole squared that is equal to the first term squared plus two times both the terms multiplied plus b squared this is the expansion so now what's going to happen over here it's going to be x squared plus two times x multiplied by four plus four power two that is equal to the remaining terms that is x squared plus 17 squared now here it's going to be a quadratic now we take this to the other side oh, sorry it's not going to be a quadratic because it's going to cancel out this x squared over here and over here cancels off and what do we have is 8x not 8 times 4 it's going to be 8 4 times 2 is 8x plus 16 that is equal to 17 squared and now take the 17 16 to the other side it's going to be 17 squared minus 16 that is 8x and x is equal to 17 squared minus 16 divided by 8. You just put this all in the calculator, you get the answer. Now, you do not need to be so elaborate on all these steps. Hardly two steps and directly the answer from the calculator is also enough. I've just typed this equation over here. x plus 4, the whole square equals x squared plus 17 squared. If you press shift and solve, this is the previous two answer, then press equal to, you get 34.125. That's the answer. Let's look over here as well. If we solve this up, press on, or you can just go to more than one. You'll be back to the computation mode. It's 17 squared minus 16 divided by 8. The answer is 34.125 itself. But here they have clearly told us nearest 100. So we can't write 1, 2, 5. You can write x is equal to 34.125, but then the answer actually must be 34.13. This is your final answer. Or you can directly write 13 from your calculator. So here you can see this is the correct answer. Another problem here. Now here this will be the 90 degrees. So the hypotenuse is he, g, the whole squared equals f e squared plus f g squared. You can write this as EF squared or GF squared, it's fine, you know. And then what do we know? This is X. So I'm going to write X plus 9, the whole squared. That is equal to FE is X squared again, plus FG is 15 squared. It's going to be the first term squared, plus 2 times X times 9, plus 9 squared. That is equal to X squared plus 15 squared. And here we have x squared plus 18x plus 9 squared equals x squared plus 15 squared. We can cancel it off and we will just take x will be equal to 15 squared minus 9 squared, 225 minus 81 divided by 18. Put it in the calculator and you will get the answer. Here we go. I've substituted everything. The answer is 8. x is 8. We have similar problem again. This is the tangent, that's WZ, and this is 90 degrees. So the hypotenuse would be WY squared is equal to ZW squared plus ZY squared. Substitute whatever is given. X squared is given. That is equal to, that is WY squared, is equal to YZ. Now we have X minus 2, the whole squared, inside these two sides. 
See, there are two unknown terms. And then we have plus 10 squared. And here, x squared will remain. What happens here? It's x squared plus 2 times. Oh, sorry, now, it's not plus over here. Since it's minus, the rule is, if it is a plus b the whole squared, it will be a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared. Or you can write it, or if, if it is a minus b, you should write it as a squared minus 2 times ab plus b squared. You can write a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab at this as the last term anyway. They're all added up together. Here, the middle part, minus 2ab will be negative. So this is minus 2 times x times 2 plus 2 squared. This one remains the same. The square of this is same, plus 2 squared itself. And then we have plus 10 squared. Now this cancels off with this. So what happens over here is basically it's 0. But we can move this x, x term to the other side. It will be 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 4x to the other side will be plus 4x is equal to 4 plus 100. That is 104 divided by 4 is x. And x is 25, 26. So that's the answer. You can easily solve them. So whichever you can also, you know, write a couple of steps, then use the calculator directly and get the answer as well. Now we are moving to a little different type of problem. It's about tangents itself. But you can see both these tangents of the circle A are having the same exterior point C. That means this tangent and this tangent is going to be equal. So now C B and CD are equal. So you don't need to write everything. The, the statement is, since CB and the tangent CB and CD are having the same exterior point, CB tangent is equal to this bar indicates it's a line is equal to CD. Now what is CB? X plus 3. That must be equal to 7. So if that's the case, X is 7 minus 3. X is equal to 4. That's it. You don't even need to use a calculator over here, it's so simple. And let's solve this one over here. Again, they are at the same exterior point A. So AB is congruent or equal to AC, the line AC. And we have 4x plus 2, that will be equal to 2x plus 8. We'll take 2 to the other side because 2x is smaller than 4x. So 4x minus 2x and keep all the numbers at one side, 8 minus 2. It will be 2x is equal to 6, x is equal to 3. They have just told us to find x, isn't it? That's a pretty easy problem and you can see the answer is 3. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.